So we've got a mission to do today. If we have a look in the phone right now in the services app, and then we go to real estate, you can see there's a real estate agent in the city right now. So what we're gonna do is pretty much me and my friend are gonna put together some money and yeah, hopefully be able to buy a joint property. The only reason we're buying this property is because we're gonna flip it for some more money. That's probably gonna be in another video or something, but yeah, our main objective right now is to find a property that we can buy, preferably with a garage because yeah, I think we can flip those for more money. I've got 221k in my bank right now. And in my Bobcat, I've got 100k dirty cash as well, which we need to wash into clean money. That's going to be in another video too. I saw your guys' comments, by the way, and everybody loved the car choice that I made. So it was you guys that helped me make my decision on what car to buy anyway. So yeah, pretty much I'm going to follow my friend here. We're going to look around for like a mid-range house. I've got 200 grand to put down and he has, I think, 600. So we're kind of going for like a mid-range house in the city somewhere, hopefully. Okay, we're going down here. Ooh, look at my underglow here though. So I've explained this in a video before, but the way you find out if a property is owned, for example, when we come over here and we click E over the door, it says that we can knock on the door. And then when we knock, it says nobody seems to be home. But one of the properties we are looking to buy is this one right here. And if we come up to the door, you can see it doesn't say knock on the door, which basically means it's not owned by anyone. At that point, you can call up the real estate agent and they can come over and hook up the deal for you. Now, one bad thing about about real estate agents is apparently they don't pick up the phone for anyone in the city. So for example, you ring them up and say, hey, I'm interested in buying a property and I'll tip you. That's when they'll come over. If you don't want to tip them, they're not going to bother. Is she picking up? Oh, we're going to have to, we're going to have to offer a tip, bro. You know what? I've got a plan. One of my friends knows her well. Hey man, um, we've been trying to get in contact with Nicole, but she's not picking up the phone. Yeah. Did you send her a text message? I didn't know. Should I do that first? Maybe? Yeah, definitely. You said uh, sent her a text message. Um, did you already found the house you want to buy? Yeah. Yeah. We're okay. outside of it right now. Okay. So sent her a text message. And yeah, indeed, uh, ended with uh, oh, I uh, give you at least, yeah, I tip you. Normally I tip her like 50k and she's like really nice to me. So I'm going to give her a text right now. Hello, me and a friend are looking to buy a property at 682. It's available and we will tip you. Well, I didn't even have to say nothing about no tip, no nothing. She said I'll be there in 15 minutes. Yeah, but apparently so... if we tip her, she'll, she'll be answering our phone calls whenever we need her in the future. So I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe like a, a 10k tip? Let's do 25. You, you, you can do 5k, I'll do 20k. Now it's daytime, you can kind of see this property better. Yeah, so this one is taken and then the one we are going to buy is over here. Hopefully, um, it's not too much money. You know what? Let me climb up on the roof here. Yeah, this is a property pretty much in the center of the city. Well, the center would be behind me, but you get the point. It's, it's near enough. So it's a pretty good location. Where you at, bro? I just want to get the 20k for the tip. I'm gonna go to the ATM now because we've got to wait for Nicole to come over. Let me fly down to the city hall ATM. So city hall is the flag on the map. It is the ATM. I've got to whip out five raccoonies. We have a draw, 5,000. Submit. And then, yeah, the money for the house because we don't know the price of it yet we're not going to do anything there i think i'm going to change my vehicle livery to the original one that we bought it in it does need a little bit of a wash i know i did have a cleaning kit in my glove box but yeah for some reason it's gone i feel like my friend might have stolen it what i like to do now that we own a car i like to keep food in here drink in here like a cleaning kit and if you got one a repair kit oh wait is she here okay, so i will she is here okay parker rooney lock the whipper toonie and there we go i uh, so you're Nicole, right? Yes. Uh, we were looking at that house right there. Like, how much would something like this go for? Um, like something like this with the garage. Um, I could probably it could have a Michael interior, so I could probably do about uh seven fifty. Seven fifty. Oh, Bruce, can you bank crimes for me like a hundred fifty k? Yep, I can do that, man. All right, should we pay the tip and then quickly ride to the bank around the corner? There we go. We don't want to take up too much of our time, but uh, let me hop on the radio because I need to make sure I get 
get the bank uh, bank number right. I don't want to be transferring 150k to the wrong person. And we are back at the city hall again. Okay, Jones, don't I need your bank number? Yeah, 150. Is it just 150 on its own, yeah? Yes, 150. So user ID 150, and I'm going to wire him 150 grand right now. Is that 150? Yeah. Okay, wiring you 150 grand right now. Your ID is 150 to confirm, yeah? Yes. All right, sent. Got it. Perfect. Okay, now we've got a speed back over there. That's 150 grand gone out of my account. But remember guys, all we had to do is acquire this property because now we can flip it for even more money, right? Okay guys, so you can see we could buy the house now for 750 grand. Can I quickly view it? Yeah. So we have the same interior to the other properties here, but as you can see, it's empty. And yeah, if we really wanted to, we could change the interior, but we're gonna keep it like this because uh, it's not gonna be a property that we live in. We're just keeping it for the time being for a flip. But yeah, you can see compared to the crib that we've been staying in, this is like where my room would be and look how different it looks when it's empty. So yeah, this is a $750,000 property. How crazy is this? My friend put in 600K and I put in 150. Thank Thankfully, he has more money than me because otherwise we'd have to be flipping a trailer. And by the way, I do plan on flipping some trailers because they are cheaper. I think some of them go for like 300k. Again, it's just about finding a trailer that's empty. Property flipping is something I want to get into long term. It's just a good way to make money on the side, you know. By the way, Nicole, um, Daniel gave me your number. Uh, Daniel. Uh, what was his second name? I only got him saved as Daniel, so I, I forgot his second name, but he's a good friend of mine. He's got pink hair. Oh, gee, Daniel. G. Yeah, Daniel G. Miller, that's it, yeah. This property does come with a garage down here. It's a decently big property, uh, but yeah, I'm just waiting for my friend to come back from the bank right now, and then we are gonna buy it. What car is this? Is this the Charger? If you had to pick out of mine and his car, whose would you pick? Come on, I know mine's a little bit dirty, but it's a no-brainer. This thing does not compare to mine. I know they're kind of different cars, but still, mine's better, okay? Wait a minute, I need to check my, my bank balance now. Oh no, I'm broke. And don't forget guys, I've got 100k dirty cash that I need to clean in my in my Bobcat. So we're not down too bad and we're going to make money from the flip. So this is pretty much investing money. It's not like spending money. Even the car that I bought, it isn't exactly burning uh, like 100k on a car because now I've got an asset worth 100k. So if I ever needed to sell it, I can. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, thank you guys. The property has been bought now. So, uh, Nicole, in the future, is it cool if I give you, because we want to do a little bit of, uh, like, we're going to purchase some more in the future. Is it cool if we give you a call? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I can, if you send me your number, I can save it, and then I can... Yeah, I'll send you it right now. My name is Curtis. Yep, I got yours. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate that. We'll give you a call again in the future for sure. Do you happen to have a driver's license or ID on you? Do you need it for, like, logs or something? Yeah, it's for a log. I got it. Thank you. Okay, so Jones is going to park his whip in the garage and then he's going to give me keys. And yeah, this is the joint property that we both have bought now. So the property I'm staying in, that's completely Jones's. Like I've just been staying there and he gave me keys. But this property, as you've just seen, we both put money in and own together. Real estate agent is going now. She's got my number saved. Mission successful pretty much. There we go. You were given a set of keys. Let's test out the garage for the first time. Here we go. Park. Amazing. So if we look here now, we've got both of our Mustangs in here. The investment property has been purchased, man. Question is, is it going to sell? It is. Maybe not right now, but give it a little bit and then we'll get rid of it for sure. Are you already trying to sell it for 1.2 mil? You know, might as well get to work right away. That's $70 in my bank account. $70? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just posted a tweet right now. Selling property at Postal 682 for 1.2 mil. At me if you're interested. Yeah, this house is so empty compared to us. Let me give Daniel a call and let him know that we got the property now. We got the property now, man. Ah, <laughs> congrats, bro. Thank you. 750k we spent. Oh, nice. On the hills? Uh, no, it's in the main main city area. It's around the corner from Vangelico, like behind it. What kind of house is this? Is it an apartment or uh, is it a house? It's like a house. It has a garage, everything. Yeah, I think maybe you're, if you're lucky, you may be even more than double flip it, right? Well, we, uh, we put up an ad on Twitter for 1.2 mil. Is that too low or? Yeah, I would start higher yeah what kind of interior does it have like the micro interior yeah it's got the micro interior i would just start with like 
2.5 million, bro. 2.5 <laughs> mil? Yeah, I would, uh, I would definitely go high. You can always sell it, bro. But why sell it today? Yeah, exactly. We yeah. weren't in a rush to do it anyway. So you got a house now. Yeah, you might be lucky, but maybe you have to wait like two weeks before you get another one. You know, it's not easy to get a hold of him. Yeah, As yeah, you got yeah. Many appointments, you know. I would just, uh, if you only bought it just for selling it, I would just try to get as much as you can. Guys, so we've got some customers here right now. Uh, they're here and they want to buy it for 1.2 mil. Okay, so I just broke the news to them. I don't want to sell it for less than 2.5. He wants 2.4. It's 100k off. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. 1.2.4, you got to do. Perfect. Let me, let me take your number. What's your name, by the way? My name is Alex. Guys, are you seeing this? We just bought this for 750 grand, not even 5, 10 minutes ago. And we are selling it back to a guy for 2.4 million dollars. So I've got the, the pink hair guy's number right now. He is called, I think it's Alexander. So yeah, pretty much what he's going to do right now is he's doing like a bunch of business because he hasn't got the full 2.4 mil in his bank as we speak. He's going to make the money. Uh, he's going to give us a call back. And yeah, if anyone comes in the meantime offering 2.5 mil, we said we're going to sell it to that person. But we're going to give him a call to let him know if that does happen, you know, since he was the first guy that came here. I hope to speak to you soon. Uh, and well, uh, let's uh, let's make uh, things happen. Your, your name was Alexander, right? Yes. You're going to go do some business get the final bit of money for the property um and then once you got that you're gonna give me a ring yeah let Perfect. me give you my number right now save oh, me in thank my you. name is curtis jackson all right i saved it thanks yo if that was not the easiest money <laughs> that was the easiest ever bro we flipped that not even what 10 minutes later? Okay, so according to Google, my split would be 20%, right? Because I put 150 grand into a 750 grand property and my friend put 600,000, which means he has 80% of the profits. So the moment of truth, 20% of the profit we would get, which would be 1.75 million, if we sold it for 2.5 mil, I would make 350 grand. Oh my God. Okay. And then my friend would make 1.4 million so yeah now we have this empty investment property just chilling here we're gonna be making money in all different ways but at least we got this in the background now and yeah you guys saw we pretty much done nothing to make that money thank you guys for watching there's gonna be another video on screen right now i will catch you over there